Hello everybody, this receipt is to go over receipt, uh, receipt printing, receipt slash invoice printing, and also emailing. Um, and the several different ways that you can go about doing that inside Cool Running Software. All right, the first way is through your is through your sales maintenance receipt maintenance area. You can email any receipt or print off any receipt from this area. So if I go here to sale, go in here to uh, sale maintenance, and I was going to go ahead and pick, uh, I'll just pick hundred bomb group, and hit continue. And I can pick any sale, but you can only do one sale at a time through sale maintenance. From here, and then from here, I can choose to download or email the receipt, and I can just hit continue from here. Now, right here, I'm already set to download. As soon as I hit download, it'll go ahead and download as a PDF copy. But I can also email contacts. So here's the email to contacts right here. With this, this being a note on who uh, this is a customer contact, and these are location contacts and which ones I want to actually email to. I could also email an additional person down here manually just by entering it in right here. And you can see right here, you know, email other addresses, add them in. I can even add an optional message to go into that email as well. So where are these, where are these coming from as far as the email contacts? Well, let me open up another tab here. another tab there okay so right inside the customer list here if I go to the hundred bomb group first off under customer properties here is customer contacts and as I explained in other videos the difference between customers and locations if I click on locations there's only one delivery location for hundred bomb contacts here are the contacts down here okay and you can see right here who's set up for auto emails and 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 uh, not auto email which I'll explain in a moment Okay, so going back inside here, you can see, I can choose from here. I'm not going to bother emailing, um, but uh, yeah, you know what? I think I will. I think I will email just myself uh, one receipt. Okay, so I'm going to hit finish, and this is going to go ahead and download a copy of the ticket. Okay, so there's a copy of the ticket right there, and download. This is what the customer would receive. Okay, so now going back, that's that's this that's this simple, easy way to go ahead and do it. Okay, so now we also have the option of doing a bulk, a bulk of email to tickets. So from here, from sales, we can go to receipt printing, and the process is the same way. I'm going to choose a hundred bond group again and hit continue, and this time here, uh, there my receipt just showed up. So let's let's break away and take a look at that ticket. One second. Okay, so here's a receipt that just came in. I can go and open it up. Now here's what the customer would the customer would receive. Now I can click here and download the images. So you have a body image right here already, which you can go print an online version or whatever, and it shows the delivery address, billing address, and all that. And obviously here is the PDF copy that we were just looking at a moment ago. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize that, and let's go back to what we were talking about here with multiple receipt printing. Now right here, the process is almost exactly the same as the sales maintenance screen. We can go inside here and we can choose a date range of receipts. So let me just change the date range to now. Okay, so here's all the receipts. Now, there is a limit. You can only do about, tw do about 20 at a time depending on the limits of your email program. Okay, so I can go inside here and I can select exactly which copies that I want to send. So let's just say I want to go ahead and send those. Um, I can limit them to say either do check all, cash check, whatever. Um, so there's some filter options in here. So I'm going to choose these and hit continue. Now again, we have the same options that we had before in the sale maintenance screen. So I'm not going to bother going over them again. Again, you can also, one actually there's an extra op option, this one right here. You can say what email it was sent from. Um, because in the other because with any email sent from the system, it comes from coring software.biz. Uh, but you can also, in this right here, you can actually say within the email, hey, who actually sent this email? So you can put that right there and again, put in that optional message. So I'm going to click download and this one right here. I'm not going to bother going about um, emailing it. And you can see right here, I can open this up. So now we have all the tickets in one email. Now we also have some other options inside CoolRing software. Now that's manually entering receipts. Um, you can auto email. You can also have the auto email option. Now the auto email option only applies to sales that are generated from the handhelds. So the sale, as soon as it hits the office server, are um, it goes into the queue for emails to be sent out, and they're sent out about every uh, three to four minutes. Um, so as the sale comes into the server, 
the sale um, the sale is uh, saved into a queue and then it gets emailed out. So that is an additional uh, additional module per month. Uh, you can manually email as many, many tickets as you want, but um, the auto email option is a separate module inside Coring Software. Okay, so but there are some options on your emailing. So you can go to admin and go to settings, and you can go to receipts. And down here, you can see here we have an email option. So right here, we are specifying, first off, an automated delivery. Do we want to email to the customer contacts, location contacts, or both? Okay, most often you're just going to put both. Do you want to put a custom message in with that auto email? You can put in a custom message that will go into the body of the email. And then finally, the manually option, manual option down here, you can put in the same thing. You can say, do you want to, but you can say right here, do you want to copy the sending user, which would be like myself? Or when anybody sends it out, do you want to actually copy different people? So for instance, if you have somebody inside the company that wants to have a copy of every email that's sent out from the, cert, from the system, they could put their email right here, okay? Um, or you can say, you know what, don't ever copy me. I don't ever want to copy the, copy the ticket. Finally, down here, you have the default message that can come up. Anytime that, you, anytime that you go to send one, that default message will come up and you, of course, edit that default message um, and on the fly. Okay, so that is the, um, that is the uh, receipt printing, receipt slash endpoint printing, and also emailing. Um, so if anybody has any questions uh, about that about that process, uh, please let us know. Thank you.